Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode today. Well, we gotta get the old x-ray visions on to see is our... Oh, he's alive. Okay, good. I thought he died. His head was out Dude, of the Dude, look how fast these minnows are moving. Why is that thing bubbling like that? Oh, because it came off. Hey, I guess it's still making bubbles. He's alive. Look at him. You gonna pet him? No, that's all you. Remember? <laughs> you said that you were gonna be on petting duty <laughs> for this guy. I'm touching this guy. Look at him. He's chilling. So if you guys missed the episode, we rescued basically this little common snapper. He was literally just wandering down a random road really far away from water. I was like, listen, Rick, I got the perfect little pool for you. Plenty of fish laying around. Is it just me or is there like a lot less dead minnow because it wasn't there like a couple hundred yesterday it seemed yeah. like like a lot now there's only like four i'm not sure if he's been the one eating it or not we're not sure but we basically we rescued this little snapping turtle and we made a little ramp he was hanging up here last night i checked on so i know he's he knows how to get out of the water right now he's just freaking holding his breath right now i got oh there he goes he's about to get a breath and no oh and bonzo scared him Sorry. right anyways millie how's this how's what oh wow it looks clear should i give you guys mind optic vision hang on there you go that's about as good it's gonna get folks you see all the fish swimming bonzo you feed him Come on, fish. I don't think they're hungry. They're not hungry. Yeah, we've been giving them a lot of food lately. But you can actually see the fish down there now. A couple catfish down there, a couple bass. Now see? Now see how much different it is? It's called Mondo Optic Vision, folks. Link in description. Go check it out. You see right through the water. And uh, we've been feeding them a lot, though, because we have a lot of minnows that were dying off. So we kept trying to give them to these guys before they all died off too bad. I mean, look at the cloud of minnows. I know you guys can't see it, but there's like probably 150 minnows in that corner. So there are obviously not super duper hungry but i still need a name for this guy so if you guys want to name him you just you feel free but i think he's been eating all the dead minnows because there was a bunch of them last night and now he's just laying down there like he looks like he's dead but he's not we've seen him swim around anyways he's good these are the bass still have i mean yeah can you guys see that now all these minnows maybe you can or can't but there's a lot of freaking minnows right in there and they're not eating any of them so they're obviously full the pigs are hungry though the pigs love when we come down here because they know they're going to get some food we have not been putting them on automatic feed We've been feeding them every single morning. I did throw some uh, old expired moldy bread. They ate a little bit of it. Not too bad. There was like some, it was some croissants. They must not be French. You guys want some food? Oh yeah. Here you go, winkers. Right there, Junior. Hey, to the weast. Hey, I already, you guys are blind. Hey, yeah, there you go. Hey, right there. There you go. Now they're getting after it. Their mud puddle we've been making has been staying mud now. It's good. It's like a, it's like officially just all mud, and they just go and bathe in it. So pigs are chilling. They're doing big things. They're getting bigger. They're growing every single freaking day. How's our uh, how's our rooster doing? We're thinking um we're thinking about today's video. You know we've got a lot of animals here that need to be dispatched. Starting with Rick. Just kidding. Uh, we've got a rooster and we've got a bunch of male quail. That rhyme, Dr. Seuss. Male quail that need to get kachowed because there's too many of them. You want like a ten to one guy girl ratio. You want ten girls for one. One guy. Right now, we've got about 10 guys for one girl, so we gotta do the old flip flop, and the easiest way to do that is dispatching. So, we're thinking today we might be dispatching this extra rooster that we bought. Might be dispatching some. Just touched the fence, it scared me for a second. Should I make sure it's on? I didn't get shot. <sighs> you wanna do it? No, not no, really. come on, somebody. You got the booth. No, do for you. you doing it? All right, I got this. It's time. Just... Oh snap, it's on boys. All right, we're good. Cheese and freaking rice. Um, now let's make sure it's on. Anyway, so we're thinking rooster, catch, clean, cook, plus quail, catch, clean, cook, plus there's quail eggs. And they might even have some more, but we have like three right now. So we're gonna go check for those. So today we might just be kicking it. I mean, as you can tell, it's kind of rainy out. It's actually just a that is number one reason why buddy's getting killed. I'm sleeping in my bedroom and that's all I hear all day, every day. Doesn't matter if it's morning, night, don't freaking matter. Buddy's always cock a doodle and doing, so we're going to uh, catch and cook his ass. I guess let's go check on the rest of the animal. What up, chickens? All right, rooster. Hey, it's your lucky day, Jim. I'm killing your brother, not you. You guys hanging out? We gotta check for some. Oh, there who laid an egg in the middle of Narnia right there? Hennifer, was that you? No, that wouldn't be. That'd be one of these little guys. These little three. Little <laughs> Keep it up and you're gonna be joining your friend. Pipe down a little bit, all right? Let's go check for some eggs. See what we got cooking in the kitchen here. All right, we got one egg that was just laying out in the middle of nowhere. Some of these guys like to just lay eggs everywhere. No, I don't see any in there. Let's check their coop. Hello. Oh, snap, here we go. We got one more, two, three, and I'm gonna leave an extra one. God, cheese and rice, nugget, that's nugget. Kagers, blue kagers right there. There you go, we got four eggs. Good job, chickens. We're, uh, that means four of you guys are slacking though. We need eight a day or you're getting catch and cooked. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
What did I just tell you? Hey, quail, how's it going? See, these are all the male quail. Bunch of males in there doing male things. Few guys are gonna get catch and cook today, all right? So just, uh, good luck. Well, we, we honestly, they've been, so, have we, since we separated, they've been so quiet. They know what's going on. There are still males in here. Let's see, do we see any eggs in there? I see one. Oh, there's two over there. Oh, we got three more. Oh, cheese and rice. There, see, they are starting to lay eggs more. Turkeys, you guys hungry? How did you drink all that water? I filled that all the way up, like, I don't know, last night, I guess. You guys are nuts. I'm gonna go collect some quail eggs real quick. It looks like we've got at least three. They're laying them inside the nesting box too, which is which is pretty neat because a lot of times quail will just kind of lay them wherever. But they're actually, uh, oh yeah, look, look at this. So this is our little system here. You lift this whole thing up. Watch out, quail! I'm not trying to smash you. Look at this guy. Look how small they are. They're just like little marbles. One, two, three, four. Well, wait, what did I did I just? I'm sorry. Oh my. We've goodness. got three quail eggs right here. I couldn't. I did not make that up, folks. That was just pure. Ah, uh, it it's early. No, it's actually not. I just don't know what's going on right now. Anything back there? Or uh, three? So we got, oh, we got one, so four. four. So there's four. four. See, I see. I was just, I'm a psychic. You're I'm basically Raven. So <laughs> if that, you know what I mean? I'm ahead of, I'm ahead of the game, actually. Turk, you guys hungry? They're like, we know you're the one that brings the food. Let's freaking go. You want an egg? So we got four. So that means we got four hens. What? Who gave that one the superpower? Millie, calm down. We got four, four little eggs right here. That's pretty neat. Let's go feed these ducks and turkeys. Watch out, turkeys! Coming in hot, buddy. What up, ducks? Why don't you still, why, du ducks? Why don't you still like us? You still do not like us. I don't get it. Look at the turkeys. The turkeys are chill. Hey, Bubba. Kinda. They're better than the ducks. The ducks just really don't like us. I don't know why, man. We're, all, we're nothing but nice to these guys. We're gonna clean out their water. You guys are always making a freaking mess. Fresh water, just for you turkeys. Even though you guys have a bunch of freaking chicken waters. You act like this is the only source of water that you guys get. We, right now in this pen, we have two turkey slash chicken waters that have the little nipples that they poke. And these turkeys, they don't know how to use it. That's what they grew up on. They still don't know how to use it. So they just wait for us to bring them water. But they're they're hungry. The turkeys are always on food duty. Every time I come in here, they freak out. Then the ducks wait for us to leave and then they eat. So, all right, here you guys go. Give these guys a couple scoops. And you guys are good. Good news, folks. We got four quail eggs. I'm excited. I've never had a quail egg ever. So we are going to do a little catch clean cook on that as well as a rooster. Is that a falcon? What is that? Uh, a turkey vulture. Right, we're good. Don't worry about it. I didn't want nothing swooping out and getting them babies. Speaking of that, let's go check on the babies. Good morning, babies. Oh, hey, little baby. We got two over here, folks. Two over there. Buttercup, you being a good mom? Look at those little guys. What up, little munchkins? Hi, buddy. What you doing? You're just such a little squirt. You guys are cute. Yeah, I hear you. Look at these other guys. Oh, what's going on over here? Royal Rumble. I saw them fighting each other. Really? Yeah, look at them. So that big one right there in the back was the one that was struggling walking. Look, she's doing fine now that we gave her cellium. What up, buddy? This is Macy's Chilling. favorite. Yeah, this is Macy's favorite. Macy loves this little guy. So they are all boys, and what our plan is, planning on taking two of them. And actually, I think it is. I think it is these two. That guy and this. Guy, they're they're like they're, they hang out all the time. Macy likes this guy, and then this guy is friends with this guy, and they always hang out, and then the other two hang out. And so we need to pull two of them away from basically Buttercup because she only got two nipples, and when you got four babies and two nipples, do the math, folks. It don't work out. They don't all get the proper nutrients and buttercup no offense buttercup she is way can i help you well your mom's out here if you want to she ain't in the corner she's over there anyways buttercup is not i don't think she's a very good mom yeah i'm not a goat so i don't really know what a good mom looks like but like buttercup here's what she does they get a little bit of milk and then she just starts walking away and she look see and they like they they, they attach see right now they're both getting it and then watch then she just walks away. I don't know what the strat is, Buttercup, but they can't drink from your nipple if you're walking away. I don't know what the deal is. But we're thinking at least we got to take two of them. For sure, at least two of them have to go. Um, and we'll just raise them as bottle babies. Macy wants to do it anyways. And basically what you got to do is you got to give them three bottles a day. Three eight-ounce bottles every single day. Basically, it's like raising a freaking child at that point. Um, but yeah, Macy Macy really likes this little white guy here. And then this dude, he's pretty cute too. So And they're buddies. So they're going to they're gonna hang out at some point. I don't know if that'll be today or tomorrow. Pretty quickly though. We're going to move them up to the house. You got to separate them from their mom and get them on that bottle. How's it going, llama? What up, buddy? You want some grain? I ain't got no grain. Oh, see? She knows. She's like, you ain't got no grain. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bubba. What you doing, Dale? Rick, Rick what? what? You, you got blood in your nose? Rick, come here. Is it orange or is it bloody? Orange. Rick, what'd you get orange from? You rub on the That's what I, shit. Hey, 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 be hey, nice hey. to Dale. Be nice to Dale. He's got orange on his nose. What'd you do, buddy? He's not like you. It might be from, those trees have a little bit of orange. Sometimes they rub and get that bark a little bit. They're, he's rubbing on something. I don't know what's, hey, hey, you calm down. It also could be that mineral block because that mineral uh, block's kind of that red too. Is. He's probably got his nose against that mineral block. Um, these guys are out of hay though, so let's give him some hay. All right, folks, how's it going, Dale? We got a little bit of grain, not much. We got just a little bit, Dale. 
Boom. Come here, llama. Come here, big girl. Come here, buddy. There you go. There you go. Look, see how nice this llama is? You're nothing like your dad. Hey, Dale, you want some? What? <laughs> now we're training everything just to stand up and eat? Here, Karen. You want some, Karen? There you go, Karen. Probably should save some for Buttercup, huh? We're running low. We're about out. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this to uh, Buttercup. She's She needs it more than these guys. You don't have to feed them grain. I just do it because they like it. But Buttercup needs the extra nutrients. Well, folks, everything is fed and taken care of. As you can see, the llama, she's chilling. We have made an executive decision. Llama. Hey, Bubba, you're so much nicer than your dad. I, I like you. Look at this. Look at this, folks. You're better than Steve. Speaking of Steve, you guys, uh, you guys met yet? You know if you know what I mean. If you don't, you know. We have named this girl. We've come. We've came to the conclusion with your guys' help and support in the comment section. Her name is Llama Rhodes. Listen, folks. If you know, you know. If you don't, well, you'll figure it out sooner or later. I'm sure in the comment section down below. Llama Rhodes, welcome, Llama Rhodes, to the Flare. Farm. Millie, do not bark at Llama Road. Be nice to Llama Road. What's crazy is llamas are known to kind of protect and like she doesn't really care that about, about that much about Millie. Like she doesn't, I haven't let her in the pen with the llama, but like they'll be nose to nose and they don't really, uh, they don't really fight. I think it's, it's the female thing. The males, do not buy a male llama, whatever you guys do. If you guys are thinking about getting llamas, get females. They're a lot more chill. Carol, you like the new llama? She's kind of, you were kind of scared of her for a little bit. Carol, you're looking cute, Carol. We still need to trim your eyelids or eyebrows or your hair on your face, I guess a little bit, but. Oh, Rick's got the tractor going. That's good. Good. Killing it. Anyways, Llama Roads, welcome to the farm. Um, everything's fed, taken care of, all that jazz. Look at all these guys. They are straight up munching. I know we're working on the fence still. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while, folks. Probably another month um before some things kind of fell through and I've found a new company to come out and do it. It's just been a lot big fiasco uh to get these guys out on pasture. But I mean they're still getting plenty of food. They got plenty of hay. They're just not on fresh pasture ground because we're working on that fence up there. It's a lot more complicated to run 1,200 feet of woven wire fence through hills than you might think. Anyways, with that being said, it is time for Bonzo's favorite time of the day, catch clean cook. Coming in hot. Um, but before we really get into that, there's another task that we need to do, and that is we need to organize the work. Workshop. Well, the, organi the workshop actually has been organized, but we need to get everything in bins and labeled and all that jazz. And then, then it'll be lunchtime because right now it, well, it's 10 o'clock. It's it's a little bit early for lunch. Around noon, we're hoping to come back down and get the rooster taken care of. What are you looking at? Is the rooster getting getting business done? You're, you're doing what? Who's the rooster taking care of right now? Three. He's got three hens over there. What a lucky rooster. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, uh, we're going to go. We're gonna head out to the shop, get that organized, and come back down for lunchtime and do a good old-fashioned organic catch clean cook with farm-raised roosters, quail, quail egg, chicken eggs, all that fun jazz. You guys stay tuned. Look at all the clean organization we just did, folks, okay? We're killing it out here. So right now, we've got a bunch of bins up there that we got moved. Everything got relabeled, reorganized. We got fencing materials, animals, chargers, garden hose, ear protection. I mean, obviously there's lots of room for more bins and I have the bins for that, but there's just, we don't have enough stuff which means I'm gonna go buy more stuff, fantastic. Um, and then we've got all this stuff, rope, bungee cords, work gloves, lighters, power strips, ratchet straps, everything's organized. Your key to success in life is organization, and I suck at it, but we're getting a good start at it. So now at least we've got the workshop now to use for activities and building stuff if we ever wanna go build anything. But with that being said, uh, the only thing actually that we have left is the tool side, but we're waiting because I'm debating getting this whole thing spray foamed, and if I get spray foamed, I want I don't wanna put up pegboards before that because then I gotta take it down, so I need to get spray foam first and then put the pegboards up and then hang up all the tools and build the workbenches. But I don't want to do that until I get spray foam, but I'm not sure when I'm going to get spray foam. So with that being said, the tools are just going to look like a bag of wieners for now. All just kind of sprawled out looking, like I said, like a bag of wieners. Anyways, with that being said though, we're organized as organized can get. It is time to go kachow and dispatch a couple of them quail and what that big old fat rooster and we're going to get to cooking. You guys stay tuned. Well, Old boy rooster, he's uh he's seen better days. He's chilling. And then in this bucket, can't show you too much, but there's two quail down there. Millie, hey, hey, don't hey, don't eat the quail. Don't eat the quail. That's that's for lunch, all right? We'll give you a cooked piece, not a raw piece. This isn't sushi. Okay? And then here, 
we've got quail eggs and normal eggs that you can see down there. We just collected a bunch of those today as well. So with that being said, we're going to clean this rooster guy up. You probably can't show you too much of the cleaning process because there'll be a little bit of blood, but what we're going to do to keep things fast and simple for this video is obviously the normal strat. Just breast them out for now. Um, we keep all the meat, obviously, but for the sake of the video, the cane's chicken fingers, it just can't be beef, folks. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to breast out the quail, bacon wrap quail, and then we're going to do the fried egg. Actually, we're going to do a chicken egg fried and a quail egg fried and do a side-by-side -side comparison and give you guys a little intel on what we think is best. And folks, we are back, and we were in the kitchen. This is what we got here, okay? We have four quail breasts. As you can see, one, two, three, four, two pieces of bacon, two chicken breasts. I mean, this is probably the biggest chicken breast we've gotten off our organic type chickens. Most of the time, they're a little bit smaller. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the chicken, though. The old fashioned chicken fingers. We actually already have the old cane sauce whipped up here. Uh, if you guys don't know how to make it, Google it or watch some of my other videos, but I didn't feel like boring you guys through another process. This right here, that's gonna be your best little piece of chicken. It's right there attached to the chicken breast. Um, so go ahead and cut that guy off. And so we're just gonna cut this whole thing in some nice, flavorful strips. So on this guy, I'll probably just, we'll make some keggers. Bonzo's hungry, so we're gonna, we're gonna rip this guy just right down the middle about like that so now you got four pieces and then send this guy down here and i'll just cut this guy like that so that left us with a total of two four six seven pieces of chicken so how we're gonna make this chicken is we've got these look at this so what happens if you have chickens and quails folks this is like a day and a half's worth of eggs all organic um we're not gonna use the quail eggs for this we're gonna actually fry up the quail eggs separately but so we're gonna take you guys actually saw us gather this guy today this is old uh chicken nuggets Egg, so go ahead and crack a couple of these guys in there. About like that. Chicken nugget needs a, uh, see how soft this shell is? They need, uh, that means they need like oyster shells or you can feed them their own shells. But this one's a little better. So throw a couple of them in there. We'll start with, we'll start with two. Grab yourself a little forky. And twist this up. All right, now that that's whisked, this is just standard flour, but we do have a twist today. We've got some red hot original little seasoning. So we're gonna throw this on as well. So what you're gonna wanna do, take your strip and you're gonna wanna dunk it in the egg. Then you're gonna take it and throw it in the flour and we're going double dunk on these guys. So then go back just like that and then go back one more time. Cover up. This is how I'm just gonna do one, but then I'll do the rest a lot faster. But just to show you guys how what you do one, cover it all up, pat it down nice and thorough. If you're doing it back like this, you make less of a mess, which is important. And there you have it. You can set that down there. Are you thinking, Bonzo, do you think we need to integrate the seasoning or do you think take it fresh out and lightly sprinkle? Um, if you were to guess. That's a big decision. I'd put it on just like right now. Just on you think it. right now? You're thinking right freaking now, huh? That. Yeah, because when you sprinkle it after is where you're gonna get your flit. You're gonna get your flavor. You can do a little afterwards too. So let's pack a little bit. I mean, I don't want it to be too hot, but so there you go. You got your first piece. So we're gonna rip through the rest of these guys once they're done. We're gonna start frying them, and then we're gonna prepare our little teal breast. And then as well as like I said, quail. we want to do quail. What did I just say? Teal. teal. It looks like teal. No. I swear it's not. <laughs> it's quail. Quail breast. And then we're gonna fry up some quail eggs as well. So you guys enjoy the time lapse. We've got all the chicken done. I mean, it's seasoned not super great or either way, I think it'll be all right. So while the uh, while the old burner's getting fired up, we're gonna take a little SPG action on some of this quail. Just do a light, light dusting, nothing too crazy. Pack it in, give it a little flip ski, and do the same thing the other side. Again, just light, you don't need much. Don't wanna go overkill on it. Then what you're gonna do, don't wanna cross contaminate, so grab a different knife or some scissors. Cut your bacon in half. You only need about half a strip of bacon per quail breast. And then you're gonna take this, fold it in, wrap it around like a little blankie, and then that's gonna go on your grill, just like that, for only a few minutes, really not that long. You want it to be medium rare. So wrap that guy up like that. And then you go ahead and just grab your other piece of bacon here and give her a wrap. Is that distracting or no? The well, SPG in the nostrils did it right. All right, go ahead and turn your little panini maker on, put it on uh, steak mode and hit OK. And uh, while everything's heating up, let's fry some eggs. So cracking something about the size of your eyeball. I mean, let's get a beefcake comparison here. Chicken egg versus quail egg, all right? So I, let me crack this into a bowl before I get shells everywhere. 
Oh my god, look, it's so cute! Look at that little guy. It's tiny. He's teeny. He's That's the cutest little egg you ever did see there, boy. We're just gonna chuck one in there and see what happens. Look at that! Bro! What is going on? You gotta see how small this thing is. Do you think it's gonna taste Look at the better? cute little leg. I'm gonna go ahead and crack some more in here. This thing, this is the cutest little deal ever. Imagine just like cracking 64 of these every morning for breakfast. It's about the amount I would probably end up eating. I think I eat like six normal eggs every morning. All right, this thing's ready to flip. Give me a spatula. Spatula. Look at this cute little thing. This thing's adorable. All right, we're gonna keep on cracking here. This is the most tedious process. They're they're cute though. I feel like kids would love this. It's like, hey, here's an egg for you, little guy. You know? <laughs> Tell me they wouldn't. They would. They wouldn't. It's a kid. It's a kid egg. I know. There we go. Look at this. Look at that, folks. The one bite egg. It's the old, it's the old appetizer. Yeah. Look at those little guys. We go. Eee! Just a bunch of little guys. They're so cute. All right. Well, that guy's going. Let's get a little salt and pepper on him. Salt action. Boom. All right. All right. Get the old sheet. Going in hot, folks. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Anyone gonna take best if I can flip this properly? Oh, you got it. Oh, I messed up just a couple of these little guys, but not bad. Okay, we're just gonna call it good there. Oh, oh I geez. broke Why'd one! Why'd you do that? Son of a, they are delicate little suckers. <laughs> they are just so delicate. Why? How do you like your, how do you like your eggs? Medium. Like that? Yeah. Boom. You could probably eat that one if you want it. That's fire. It's better than a normal egg. Really? It's like, well, it's rich. Like the yolk is very rich, more rich than a, it's like, it reminds me of a duck egg. A duck egg is similar to that. All right, so the grill's ready. Go ahead and open her up. Take your bacon wrapped breast. Throw them on there, about like that. Boom, go ahead and shut that. You guys gotta get you one of these, all right? Yeah. Everyone's making fun of me because I call it a grill and it's a panini maker. They're fire. It's gonna be the best bacon wrapped meat you ever did have. You gonna try that egg, Bonzo? Get yourself some of that and you let me know what you think. Fire is You're right. It's, it's, really it's better. It's better than a chicken egg. It has more flavor. It's, it's got more flavor. It's richer. It is. It, it's, it's, it's you more. Gotta you gotta try it. It's, it's a more amazing. flavorful chicken egg. Is what it is. It's good. It is a lot richer. You're yeah. Right. You wanna try it? Just, okay. just, try just it. eat it. Just eat it. Okay. It's, it's good. Like it's really good. good. It tastes like a chicken egg. It's just got a richer textured like a thicker flavor. Yolk. Thicker yolk. Yeah. Don't ask. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, that's the. I didn't want it to taste good, but it does taste good. Face. Why is this thing beeping at us? Oh shoot! What about what's going on here? Oh god! All right, these are done. Take them fresh out the fryer, folks. Okay. There you go. And then lightly, I'm gonna lightly dust them with this. Just give them a little kung pao. You know, just some little spice. All right, these three are going in. And boom, going in hot. Shoo! We're, we're cooking like I think we're an Iron Chef America out here. Yeah, these are definitely done. All right, get your plate. Definitely done. See, that literally took like two seconds. Why you need a maker? Boom. Oh, time. Oh wait, we're not playing that game. I think they're done. What if we let them rest? All right, throwing these guys out. We went a little last time on these guys. They may, they may give us uh, salmon vanilla. We're not really sure, but same thing. Let's go and throw a little seasoning on them, just like that. All right, the bony apple feet. All right, here we go. Here's the final tasting. So we've got all the chicken. Um, I'm gonna let these guys rest because they're a little bit warm. These guys, on the other hand, I'm not sure. I'm not sure they're done correctly. We're gonna get some sauce. I think they might have been overcooked. Um, I have had chicken, uh, like wild chicken, I guess you could say like some roosters and stuff this, that have this good been piece? tough. Yeah, if it was over here, okay, that's, yeah. it's cooked. Okay. This this will be cooked, just give it some time. So we're gonna try this, I bet it's gonna be a little bit chewy. Yeah. That one's not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good. I can taste it like little little hot sauce. 
And it's really hard. This is tough. So oh, chewy. I don't know if it's overcooked. That's why I did less on the other one. What do you think? The taste is good. I like it. Just a little bit tough. So this is the delicacy here. I'm gonna cut one open and just see how I did on my uh, chef skills. It beeped at me a bunch. So that usually means it's good. It's, it's good to go. Oh, but right at medium. I mean, if you wanted a little bit less, you'd be all right. Well, there you go. A little medium quail wrapped in bacon. Mmm. Oh my god. Every time, folks. Nothing compares. Mmm. I can eat that every day of my life. No question. It's amazing. It is amazing. That is yeah. that is absolutely freaking fire. You gotta get on them. That's pretty good. This, was this good. is that. Wait for these two, maybe. Okay. Yeah, get yourself some of that. You tell me that's not the best meat you stuck in your mouth before. So good. Can you try it? No. It's so good. It's so good. So good. You gotta con really convince good. her. Convince. It's so good. Convince her. Why? Uh, Give me one good reason. Come on. It's, it, you will like it. No. Why? I just, they weren't. Just a little piece. A She's little like, piece. they weren't from the store. Yeah, you know what? The meat you get from the store, you don't know what it ate. You know what it ate? It was organic feed that we gave it. I catered for these guys and rose them for about a week. So I know exactly what they've been rose eating. Them? I raised them for a week. Rose those quail. <laughs> Would you just stick it in your mouth? Let's go. Get some good bacon on there. Oh, yep, that's, that's it. Piece. That's a perfect piece. Yep. 100 bucks if you don't like it. What is this? What do you mean? That's part of the bacon. 100 bucks if you don't like it, right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're gonna love these. After you eat this, you're gonna be like, can we go kill some quail real quick for dinner? I'm telling you. Mark my words. I that's 100% what, okay. what she's 100%. gonna say. <laughs> no. Go ahead. You have to eat it. It's not chewy, just eat it. That's the that is the best meat that is good. you've eaten and you know it and you know it <laughs> see she's laughing because she knows it She tries to act like she hates everything she I cook. It out if it was bad. She tries to act like she hates everything I cook, but tell me that's not the most fire thing ever It's thank you. Oh! Thank you. Finally we get recognition out here. I've been chefing it up for years She's like, oh, did you get it from the store? I'm not eating it. I make the best food ever. Okay, folks listen I wouldn't go that far. Alright, it's, it's decent. Alright, it's decent. That <laughs> what, do you like it? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! It's good! You wouldn't even know that it's quail. It's just bacon wrapped goodness in your mouth. It's delicious. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna try this chicken. <laughs> See, it's still it's still tough. I think it's just the rooster. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think there's anything to it other than that. Because I, I cooked this a, a significant amount less than the other one. I'm pretty sure it's just the rooster that is a little bit tough. Wow. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> I was way worse. Mm. It's the rooster. The flavor's <laughs> fine, but because it's it's moist, it's just tough. We needed to tenderize it. Pretty much worse. Mm. Quail over chicken any day, though. I mean, he's still he's still not <laughs> on. That's like it's a dog bone. <laughs> I can't even. It's so that's tough. bad. That's bad. It, that's tough meat. That's not good for anybody. One of the trash. Yeah, that's not. That rooster wasn't it. The quail, on the other hand, though, this sucker. Quail eggs are even. Fire. The quail egg, quail, 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 quail. All right. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going back into this. That's good. That's good stuff. Sorry for the background noise. Power washer going on out there. <laughs> ten out of ten. For this. We're good. Oh, what do we get for dessert? You want some pie? Amazing. What is this? French silk? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed. Let's grab the ninth fork of the day. I'm just dip. I'm just going right in. Oh, wow. Macy's not gonna be happy. Oh, that's good. I didn't make that, but that's fine. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's rooster catch clean cook. It was also quail catch clean cook, and the quail eggs, first time we ever had them, fire. I would say, rooster, the meat was just tough. We've had good roosters, we've had bad roosters. Um, I would say, this one was on the bad side, um, but I mean, not the end of the world. Millie, so have a nice little snack later. Um, but the quail, on the other hand, I'm telling you guys, you get your hands on some quail, take the breast, wrap in bacon, a little SPG, on the grill real quick. I mean, that was probably two minutes. Absolutely fire. Even the quail eggs, absolutely fire. I am so happy that we have so many of these male quail that we can take care of, catch clean cook style. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for the next episode. Put some more meat in our mouth. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys want any gear, this hat, did I just say that? This hat, this t-shirt, this hat. It's been a long day. Hey guys, these Mondo optics that give you x-ray vision. If you guys want any of this, it'll be linked down below. Get 15% off your order.
using promo code FLAIR. Thank you so much for watching, and peace. Thank you.